All right, so we went over the body yesterday. If you need to hollow it out, if it's a little bit larger, I would do that and then reattach it together. Um, if it's smaller, you can most likely leave it solid and it will be fine. I started to attach these two legs on during first block and I'll upload that video so you could see like where it was exactly at that point. This is the side where the joints started to come into play. So hopefully you could see how it's like built up a little bit more through here. And, oh, it looks so much better on that camera. Okay. So different styles of legs. The first one I'm going to show you uh, is going to just be like a more elongated leg. I'm just gonna do like a simple shape. You might have something a little bit more elaborate um, in your design. And I'm gonna be going in next week and getting a lot more details into this. Um, today I'm just gonna go over attaching limbs. So we are going to pretend that this is a little body. And uh, one of my students in my last block asked about something in a seated position. Now, if you're doing something like, you know, like a little penguin or something, this might be like just the position you have it in. However, if you have legs that are sitting down, I'm gonna go over how to attach those to make them stay on. We're gonna start with a little coil. And I'm gonna make these a little bit longer. Um, you can make them, uh, you know, whatever size you'd like. but you wanna make it a little bit larger on one side than the other. The reason being that's gonna be our little hip joint. So I have this little body, it's sitting down. It's not really anything yet, it's just, you know, a little base. And I'm gonna go in and I am going to, it almost looks like a little like chicken wing or something. I am going to attach it onto the side right here. And I'm gonna really compress this into the form. After that, I'm gonna smooth it in really gently. all the way into what I have. So this leg might be, you know, extended or something different depending on what you're making. But you could see it already started to create a little hip joint on the side. Now, I gave you guys all little um, green plastic tools in your kit. Um, they're a little bit smaller. Uh, this is gonna help you like really get into any of like those little areas to kind of start blending them together. And start to shape it. If you don't want this to be, you know, such a, you know, sticking out um, hip over here, just really use the clay and smooth it up into the body. And you could do this for like attaching feet or anything like that, but this would pretty much be attaching something in like the seated position. And you know, you could play around with this. You could have like much longer legs. Um, but that way, it, you're gonna be able to go underneath 
and smooth it in there as well so it's completely attached on. You don't have something just like kind of like stuck on there and dangling. You have it completely attached to the form. This was my other sample one, but the, it dried out so the leg started cracking off. All right, I'm gonna take the leg off here and well, actually here, essentially, it's very similar if you want something standing up like that, but we're gonna wanna make it a little bit bulkier. I'm gonna just take this off. And when you're shaping your body, you guys have all like really unique pieces. Um, some of them might, you know, require you to have different techniques. Um, let me know, I will demonstrate it. I'm just going over some basic things that I think will help like the general ceramic class, but everyone has different, different designs. And when we start our Chia Pets, I'm gonna have a printout of everyone's stuff in front of me so I could know exactly what I'm looking at. So I'm gonna say, let's imagine that this is like a little deer or something like that. I'm gonna once again um, kind of take a piece of clay and mold it so that one side is bigger than the other. Now when I'm elongating something, sometimes I like to like smooth it back. And you'll find what way works best for you when sculpting. But take your time, um, there's no rush. The, these little demos that I'm doing are definitely a lot quicker than I would sculpt if I was just sitting and sculpting. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna break a little bit off, but I'm gonna start to kind of look into it. So like if you have something seated like I know some people had a cat. That might be, you know, a good way to go about that. A cat that was sitting down. And for whatever little animal or creature you're making, look at their legs specifically, how their joints bend. And I'm gonna start to make a little foot. And in the end, I'm gonna go in and really detail everything. This is just giving me a really nice, um, you know, stable piece. So imagine having like a bunch of hunks of clay together, essentially. Ours is gonna be a little bit better than this, but then going in and actually detailing everything. So I'm actually gonna say we're here, and then we're gonna get there. I like that little sheet I found. I was excited and I think I'm going to have like the ankle go back and then all right so the part that I'm going to attach to the body should be the largest so that would be like my leg And I'm just gonna start to pinch this only at the top part flat, but kind of smooth it together. So you have something that looks like that. Then I'm actually going to attach the longer limbs to the side of the body. And I'm gonna show you when I attach the smaller limbs that we're going to attach them underneath and then build a hip up. So let's use this part back here. I would go in and I would just really compress that in. Um, if we were doing something larger, I would definitely work with slip. Uh, for this, I'm just gonna smooth it. But make sure it's really kinda compressed on and get it nice and smoothed in. Now, you could also go in and really like define it, but 
but you want to keep it nice and smooth. You're also going to want to make sure you attach it underneath. So you could go in with a tool like this. You could also go in with a paintbrush and some water or a paintbrush and some slip. And I'm gonna go over slip on Tuesday, how to make the best slip. Because that might help you just paint it up a little bit. And that's pretty much the basics of attaching a longer leg. Now, if you have like, you know, multiples, like one could be going forward more, and you could have one in front and one back here, you know, get like a little nice stance going on. But that would be on the very side if you're making a longer piece. Attach all four legs on and then figure out how you're gonna get it to stand up. I like to make sure I really go in and flatten them, get everything nice and even, okay? You're usually gonna need one leg to be a little bit further back and then one of the front legs to be going a little bit further that way. I'm gonna just use a little bit of clay to show you what I mean by that. This is super quick mini sculptures. Okay, so we're gonna imagine this is another leg. Boom, that is wonderful, good job. We made them all really nice like this one, imagine. Just imagine they're all really nice. You're going to want to have one usually standing more in front, one more in back, and the same thing goes for this one, where you're going to want to have a leg a little bit in. Does that kind of make sense? Having them in different places, but they're all going to be a pretty one. Not these little, not these little ones I just stuck on putting on a hip. So this is my little woolly mammoth guy here and I got his two little hips on, little legs on. Now when you're attaching something for say, you know, like a, a little shorter animal or you are making you know, like a rhino or something with a, like more like stumpy legs like this. Roll out little forms. Almost like little mini Tootsie Rolls. And I'm just gonna shape these ever so slightly. Now I started forming the head. This is gonna eventually be the head for my sculpture. It's gonna turn into a trunk. I'm gonna carve away from it. Um, it is actually firmed up a little bit. Maybe I'll make a new one for um, Tuesday. I was gonna say Monday. All right, so I got my basic shape down. I'm gonna make sure to make them the same size. You know what? I'm gonna use my original ones because those were all measured. I got my little legs. Uh, if you're gonna be attaching something underneath, you're gonna want a really good area to attach it to. So wherever you're going to use to add on these legs, you're gonna wanna tap it on the table a little bit. And then you're gonna kind of stick it on slightly to the side. So it's not all the way on like the side side, you know, it's gonna stand up like that, but it's not all the way underneath yet either. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna smooth this just a little bit first, make sure it's really compressed in. I'm gonna use a little fresh clay just because these dried out a little bit. 
Um, but once I get this all together, I'm gonna like carve a little bit off in certain areas if I feel like they're a little too big. And I wanna get this nice and smooth and attached. Now, because we're attaching this right underneath, uh, we don't have a joint on it. So we're gonna have to create a joint separately. Um, I'm gonna get this other leg on and then I'll show you guys how to do that. So you really want this flared out like that. So you have a better, um, better angle to attach it with. So like I said, it's almost kind of like on the side. We're adding this but the side underneath. So it'll be like that. Not the side directly on the side of the body. And just add that on, make sure I'm really compressing it and then start smoothing, smoothing, smoothing. I don't know if I went over this yesterday in this class because I know we went um, pretty uh, long, but you're gonna wanna make sure to wrap up your projects in the middle of working on them. I'll go over that today. These snow days. And I'm just gonna use this to kind of smooth up in here, get rid of any of the cracks. All right, so now I have, oops, hold on. I don't have my hip joint on yet. So now I have these attached really nicely and these just kind of like little stubs sticking out and that you have a nice little attachment. So this is really important in order to get it to stay on. You could see I already went in and started like adding a little bit of the tummy part. For this, we're gonna just take little pieces of clay, little itty bitty pieces make a little circle and then flatten it and kind of angle it where the leg is going. So this one's moving kind of forward. I'm going to attach this oval going forward and then just smooth it in. And this goes for attaching, you know, any like larger um, piece onto any of these little animals. You always want to, when you're sculpting something, have a really nice place to make the attachment and then go in and add and sculpt over it. And now the hip back here is gonna be much bigger. Um, it's pretty much like standstill. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to take a larger piece of clay, smush it up, and I'm going to have this going like straight up and down. And then just smooth it. I let this guy dry up a little bit. Oops. I was goo goning my desk. So now you could see how that's a little bit more defined, but 
we want to go in now and we want to go in and add more of like a detail for the stomach area. And you guys could just go in with your individual sculptures and add little bits of clay in as you go. I'm gonna go in and I'm actually gonna use a little mini coil um, or even just like a little piece like this. And I'm gonna work it in to start making like a little crease here. So I'm just gonna going to attach it right in between there. And I'm gonna start working it in. And when we attach like um, heads and stuff on, we might need some slip. We'll make some slip on a Tuesday. If you guys are at home, um, fully remote, go ahead in and take some clay that you have, just like little extra clay um, that's kind of dry already, and just break it up into a few little pieces. Don't like smash it into like, you know, just like a few little pieces like this. We'll make like a little pile of it. And so you just have like almost like, almost like fruity pebbles, okay? Make a little like handful of fruity pebbles of whatever clay you're using now, and then we'll go over how to make really good slip on um, Tuesday. So here I am. I got my legs on. I got my joints going. But I think that this needs to be blended a little bit better. So you could just take little pieces of clay as you're sculpting, and if you feel like something needs more, just add it on. You can press it in really well. I gotta take a look at a woolly mammoth to see how they're like, if they have a tail or not. I know elephants have a little tail, but I'm starting to add, I hope you can see it on the camera, like little wrinkles in there where the elephant would or woolly mammoth would have. Make sure that you kind of like tap it into place once you have everything. If your legs are thinner, maybe just make sure that it rests nice and even. And you can also go in if there's parts of it that you want to take away and you can use this little ribbon tool. And I just want to carve a little bit of this off back here. Right on like the side, it's just a little bigger than the other. And then just smooth it up. I'm gonna start to pull this together for the neck area. And once everything is all together, then we're gonna go in and we'll get like any little details in there. So this would be more if you're doing like a polar bear, hippo, elephant, something, you know, like a little more sturdy in the legs. This would be more of the leg style you would do. And you could see the difference in where it's attached at the side and where it's attached underneath and a hip is added in. So I hope, I hope that helps. I hope that helps a little bit um, and with the seated one. Um, so I'm gonna kind of leave it at this today, getting the body and the legs together. Um, if you guys wanna start sculpting the head, you can. Uh, I am gonna go over that uh, separately on Tuesday.